Hello everyone, Thranx is here, and welcome to a short tutorial video I'm going to be doing, where we have a bunch of stressed out idle duplicates that are barely making ends meet with food. Which, that's okay for our purposes. It's a little bit of suffering going on here, but that's okay. Let's talk about the reason you're here. Now, in case you don't normally frequent my channel and you're not watching any of my series, that's perfectly fine. I've come to impart on you something that I discovered. Now, I'm not sure if I'm the first person that has discovered this or whether or not it's out there and I just was unable to find it. But after multiple Google searches and even some YouTube searches, I wasn't able to find any information on this subject. So let's talk about the problem. The problem is weaswort plants. I, I dug up a couple here and a couple here, and as you know, if you want to replant them, you have to look for these natural tiles. Now, you could use any tile that you find, although if you're trying to do it in the ice biome, which, you know, the air is naturally cold here, so many people choose to put them here, which you don't have to, but you could, then it's even more difficult. If you try to place it on a block of ice or snow or, God forbid, even polluted ice, you know, those, those squares are going to melt very, very quickly, especially the polluted ice, which has a much warmer melting point than the regular ice. So if you put your wheeze wart plant on there and then the ice melts, then you gotta hope you have something underneath it to catch it that's more solid. This makes planning very tricky. You really have to look ahead of, of where you're gonna need your wheeze wart plants so you don't accidentally mine those blocks out and replace them with, say, tiles or anything else. Well, in some cases, that can be really problematic, especially here. This area was wide open when I got here, and so was this. And uh, so there was a little bit of uh, area here that I dug out and a little bit here that I dug out. And other than that, this area was wide open. So let's say I wanted to put something here and I needed to cool it down. There's really not a lot I could do. I could try to put the Weezwort seed up here on this little patch of ice that was connected by some Wolframite here that I dug up. But even that's kind of far away. You could stick it over here on the side, but again, it's not really helping what you need it to do you know and then even worse let's say you have this area here that you clear cut like this and you're like oh i'm going to clear cut this whole area to do stuff with and then you remember oh man i wanted to put some weaswort seeds down does it happen to you it's definitely happened to me well there's a fix there's a really easy fix and the way i discovered this was i had a weaswort seed on some some, some polluted ice and the polluted ice melted, not in this game, but in my in my normal playthrough. The polluted ice melted and this Weezwort seed went plummeting down. Well, it just so happened that underneath it, I had mesh tiles because the ice was melting rapidly and I was collecting the water down below. Well, what I discovered is that Weezwort seeds actually grow on mesh tiles. Now you can see I've got one here on a normal tile just to verify it does not grow on normal tiles. And I've even got one on this gas perm tile, same thing doesn't grow but for whatever reason mesh tiles they plant themselves now this mesh tile is wolframite and this one is copper or gold amalgam and i had one over here for copper but i just hadn't dug up a seed yet um yeah no they already they already got those just to verify that it was working on every metal but as soon as it worked on both gold amalgam and wolframite i was pretty sure at that point any mesh tile will do um so again I'm not sure if I'm the first person to discover this. You know, please feel free to let me know in the comments if you've seen this somewhere else, if I just, you know, missed the train on this. But again, I did a couple of searches and I couldn't find anything uh, or any kind of imagery even of a wheeze wart planted on anything other than a natural tile. And hopefully this will open up your design options so that you can get a lot more intricate with where you plant your wheeze wart plants. So that being the case, if I did, for whatever reason, blow your mind and this is new to you as it was to me, you know, feel free to leave a like or a comment. Let me know how much you appreciate it. And maybe, you know, I don't know, check out some of my other shows. I'm pretty young for a YouTube channel. I could use the love, but that's not necessary at all. I hope you got all the information that you came here for. Um, again, if this has been known, I'm not the person that uh, that was able to find it easily. So even if it is out there, you might have a hard time finding it just like I had a hard time finding it. So there it is. Weez warp plants on your mesh tiles. No other tiles will work. And in this way, you're not handicapped to having to pre-plan and leave different zones up where you have little patches of rock and slime or whatever sticking out just to plant your, your cold carrots on. So there you have it. 
this is going to be the end of my tutorial. I told you it would be short. Thank you so much for coming by. Again, I hope the information was helpful, and I hope you had a good time watching my little clip here. Um, as always, I had a good time recording it and sharing it with everyone. So hopefully you stick around and you, uh, you leave some love on my channel. But if not, no worries. I just hope I was able to help you with your base construction. Until next time, take care.